Welcome to the Bradlink Podcast, your home for expert wedding planning advice. Today, I have with me Yugen Productions, and he's here to tell us everything we need to know about wedding videography. How are you doing today, Austin? Doing good. Thank you for having me today. I'm the uh, owner of Yugen Productions, and we're a full-time videography service that specializes in wedding videography, cinematography, commercial drone work. Awesome. So I know that you've been doing wedding videography for a few years. Today, I just wanted to get some of your insight on what a bride needs to know when they're considering hiring a videographer or not hiring a videographer. What are a few things that you think that they need to consider? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of options. I know with weddings, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made. So a few things to look for when you're considering a videographer is what kind of style you're looking for. And then ultimately look for a videographer that you can trust, that you can you know build a relationship with, somebody that can capture your day to the way that you want it and be able to do that in a very professional manner. So sometimes what I notice as a wedding planner, when I'm working with a client, they might either totally want wedding videography, it's in the budget, they are picking their videographer out early in the beginning of the planning process, or they kind of think they want it, they're not really sure, and they say, well, let's see if the budget allows for it at the end. I don't know if that really takes into account the value that a wedding video has. What is your experience with the value of videography and why somebody should consider it early on in the beginning stages? That's something we talk to our clients a lot about. We have a lot of people reach out and they're kind of on the fence of, you know, should we add videography in? And they've got so many other things that they're adding to their wedding. And I think a lot of people don't see the value up front. There's a reason to think, you know, we don't have the money to spend on it right now. And I totally get that. And I'll be the first person to say, invest in a photographer first. But with that, I will say the value that videography has to a wedding is absolutely priceless. I've seen it time and time again, you know, being on set at different weddings. The bride and the groom have a, you know, a lot of times a fairly strict schedule that they have to go through through the day. That takes up a lot of time. And I feel like there's a lot of things that the bride and groom miss out on the wedding that they get to see again during the wedding video once it's complete. And another thing that, that videography does really well that photography lacks a little is giving that emotion over and over again. So when you're watching a wedding video, you can actually get engulfed into that motion picture and you remember those moments of your wedding and you feel that emotion. You get to relive and kind of flash back as a memory to that. And you get to see things that you missed out at the wedding happen and it kind of gives you that rush of excitement. So if somebody is a little more alongside waiting till the end, seeing if videography is in the budget, what have you heard that some of the biggest regrets have been? And that's something as a full-time videographer, we spend a lot of time looking at you know, analytics and researching feedback from from brides. We do that on a lot of forums, Facebook pages, Reddit. And it seems to be that the one thing that brides regret more than anything is not getting a wedding videographer. Because they may see, you know, a friend or family member that's done it, or they'll see some videos online that have been shared on, on Facebook or their Instagram. And they see those and they think, man, I wish I would have invested in that. And then when you start comparing the price of a wedding to the price of a videographer, they start to realize that the investment wasn't as overbearing as they may have thought. And a lot of times I hear people wish they would have chose a videographer and kind of shifted their budget around to make it fit. I've actually had a client recently tell me we were on the fence about it. The the budget was tight and we were going to spend that money on something else anyways. They invested in a videographer and they've been super happy with that decision. I love that you did a little bit of research just to make sure that you were giving your clients what they wanted. If you were going to work with a certain type of client, what types of weddings do you usually do? What type of client do you usually work with? So that's a, a question that we, we think about a lot because, you know, we want to market to the brides that, that we want to work with and, and be able to give that value to them. Ultimately, what it comes down to is we've created a multiple different packages, budget-friendly package. We have our, our standard videography package, and then we have a premium package. And we want to try to incorporate as many brides as possible. Ultimately, we want to work with brides and grooms that we can, you know, build a relationship with. We don't like thinking of things as a transaction. We want it to be a relationship that's built throughout the process. And that way we can take that personality and interject it into the video when we create it. And that way you get the product that represents you, the type of person you are, and then ultimately you'll connect stronger with that type of video. So if there's somebody out there that just loves your passion for videography and weddings, and they want you to come to their wedding day and bring your drone, (laughs) where can they find you if they're interested in hiring you for videography? My website, www 
www.yuganproductions.com. We have a lot of our recent work on there and a, a contact form. You can contact us on the website. It comes to my email, and then I'll either give you a call or email back as soon as possible. Facebook page is a huge one. With Facebook Messenger, you can reach out to us there. Uh, our Instagrams, Yugen Productions as well. Any of those outlets we're more than happy with. Any way that makes it easy for you, that's our goal is to make it as seamless as possible. Spell Yugen for me. So just if I'm typing at the computer, I know I directly find you. Yeah, for sure. So it's Y-U-G-E-N, Yugen Productions, and you can find us at www.yugenproductions.com. That's perfect. Well, I really appreciate that you came today and just told us a little bit on what we would be missing out on if we didn't have a videographer. Absolutely. Thank you, guys for having me. And for more wedding planning advice, you can follow us at The Bradlink.